Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2022, slot 3 DILR says that all the first year students in the computer science department in a university take both the courses AI and ML. Students from other departments, that is non CS students, can also take one of these two courses but not both. So CS students have to take both courses AI and ML and non-CS students have to take one of these two courses. Students who fail in a course get an F grade. Others pass and are awarded A or B or C grades. So there are four grades A, B, C, F. F means fail. The following are some additional facts about the number of students who took these two courses this year and the grades they obtained. So we will make a table of CS and non-CS students who take AI, ML, and find the different grades. So in CS students, they have to take both the courses. So the total number of people who are taking AI will be equal to the total number of people taking ML also. Now in non-CS students, the, these numbers are not necessary. Now we are given two facts. First fact says the number of non-CS students who took AI and ML were in the ratio 2 ratio 5. So AI and ML, these ratios are 2 and 5. The number of non-CS students who took either AI or ML. So how many people took AI or ML? That is 7A because five, 2 a are taking AI, 5A are taking ML is equal to the number of CS students. So there are 7A CS students. Now CS students have to take both the courses. So the total in case of CS students is going to be 7A and 7A. Okay, so this is what we know that the total number of people is non-CS is equal to CS students in this case. Now the next thing if we see that uh, they are given statements about fail and pass. And within pass, they have given the number of grades, like how many people get A, B and C grades, the ratio of the students is given. Okay. Now, uh, if we need to fill these data, it is easy to fill fail because fail is only one category. But in pass, you have three different ratios. So let us look at the statements that talk about students failing first. And then we will look at the statements that talk about passing. So let's begin with the next set of statements to figure out the numbers of non-CS students who failed in two courses were the same. So let us say this number is B and B and their total. What will be their total? 2B is equal to the number of CS students who got C grade in ML. So that means 2B students got C grade in ML. Okay. Now, uh, in both grades, 50% it is talking about past and the ratio of A and C grades. Since we are filling the failed data first, let us look at those statements. No CS student failed in AI. So we have CS student failing in AI is 0, while no non CS student got an A grade in AI. So no CS non CS student will have A grade in AI. So this is also done. Then again, number of students got ABC grades, some ratio is given. And let's look at the next point. It says the ratio of total number of non-CS students failing. Total number of non-CS students failing is 2B. In one of the two courses to the number of CS students failing in one of the two courses was 3 ratio 1. Okay. Now it says that the total number of non-CS students failing in one of the two courses, that is 2B, is, is in the ratio 3 ratio 1 to number of CS students failing in one of the two courses. Now, if you talk about the CS students, no one is failing in AI. So, only course in which students are failing is ML. So, the number of students that failed in ML is and uh, number of non-CS students who failed is 3 ratio 1. Now, in order to make this a multiple of 3, let us convert into 3B, 3B and similarly it will be 6B. So number of students failing in one of the two courses in non-CS is 6B. So the number of students who are failing here will be 2B. So this number is 2B because no one is failing in AI. So total 
total number of non ca students failing is 6p and total number of uh, ca students failing is 2p then we are given 30 students failed in ml so ml we have 3b plus 2b 5b is equal to 30 or b is equal to 6 now we can fill the values of failed students so 18 18 12 and uh, this will be 6b which is 36 so thus far we have got these numbers okay now we need to execute the remaining two statements fourth and sixth one it says in both courses 50 percent of the students who passed got a b grade okay but while the number of students who got a and c grades were in were in the same ratio for uh, were the same for ai but they were in the ratio 3 ratio 2 for ml this is important to read and understand it says 50 percent of the students who passed so how many passed that we need to find out and among those passed students 50 percent got b grade so the past students are classified into three categories a b c b grade is 50 percent and then it says the number of students who got a and c grades were the same for ai so ai c a and c grades is equal so 25 percent of the students will get a grade okay and 25 percent of the students will get c grade and in ml 50 percent students passed and it says 3 ratio 2 for ml that is 30 percent will get a grade and 20 percent will get c grade now this is across cs and non-cs students okay so that is one piece of information that will be used once we know the number of cs and non-cs students uh, in ai and ml so total ai and ml we need to find out right then we have Another thing which is uh, given to us is that the numbers of CS students who got A, B and C grades respectively in AI were in the ratio 3 ratio 5 ratio 2 right. So AI the ratio is 3 ratio 5 ratio 2 so let us say 3P, 5P and 2P okay so that is the number of CS students A, B, C grades and in ML the ratio was 4 ratio 5 ratio 2 now this number is already known to us it is given that these numbers are in the ratio 4 ratio 5 ratio 2 so two parts is 36 that means one part is 7 one part is 18 so multiply these numbers by 18 so we have 72 90 and 36 now when we add these we will get the number of the value of a because we know the number of students who got A grade, B grade, C grade and the students who failed. So adding this we get 162, 198, 210. So total is 210. So that means A is equal to 30. A is 30. So we will get these numbers 210, 210 and then we have 5A will be 150 and 2A will be 60. So we have got the number of students who got uh, the total number of students CS and non-CS students. Okay. Now the next thing is no one failed in AI. So these are 10 P. So we will multi we will get P is equal to 21. So if P is equal to 21, this will be 63. 5 into 21 is 105. This value is 42. So this is also done. Now we will execute the fourth statement which for which we had drawn the table here right so it says that in ai the percentage pass percentage can be distributed in the ratio 25 percent 50 percent and 25 percent now in ai how many students have passed there are 270 students and 18 have failed so 252 passed right now this a b c is in the ratio 25 50 25 will be in the ratio 1 ratio 2 ratio 1 so four parts is 252 so one part will be 63 63 126 and 63 okay so this is what we will get from the fourth statement so 63 
total getting so this is 63 which is matching b grade is 126 this is 105 subtract we will get 21 and this is also 63 so 42 and 21 will make it 63 now if you add this 21 21 18 that is turning out to be 60 so we have got for ai now we will do for ml how many students are there in ml 360 and how many have failed 18 plus 12 30 so we have 330 students who passed now these are in the ratio 3 5 2 so a b c it is in the ratio 3 5 2 10 parts is 330 so this would be 99 165 and 66 okay 99 72 plus 27 is 99 165 this is 90 and this will be 75 to make it 165 and 66 means 36 plus 30 that makes it 66 let's just check if the total also match 27 plus 7500 to 132 plus 18 gives us as 150 so there was a lot of data given over here so it was a quite complicated set because one needed to understand that in non-CS students uh, these numbers are different and CS students AI will be equal to ML and we had to bifurcate into the three grades ABC and also the failed students. So quite data intensive set and this is how we will fill the table. Now let us look at the questions and their answers. How many students took AI? So 60 students from non-CS took AI and computer science it is mandatory. So 270 students took AI. How many CS students failed in ML? So in ML we have 12 CS students failing. How many non-CS students got B grades in ML? So non-CS students B grade in ML is 75. How many students got an A grade in AI? So this is 0 and 63. How many non-CS students got an A grade in ML? So non-CS students A grade in ML is 27. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.